Hey guys, your friendly neighbourhood t Recticles back again, here with another episode, well, your daily dose of Jurassic World, the game, well, not Jurassic World, the game, I don't give you that daily, but you get what I'm on about, I try and do videos daily. Recently, I haven't, I'm sorry about that, but I'm getting back to it, I'm getting back to how I was doing videos daily, and I'm going to get loads of videos and loads of uh, fun stuff for you to see and watch. So let's see uh, what we get in this pack. Um, a Guanlon. Guanlon. And some DNA. DNA is good right now because I need that. <laughs> That's pretty much what I'm saving up for. So as you can see, got a new Diplodocus. And what do we do with Diplodocus? We uh, we sell them because we've got 680 or something. I don't know. How many do we have? Where are they? Diplodocus, herbivores. We've got 589. So let's just keep doing that until we get enough. Oh yeah, so um, yeah, let's speed this prognathodon up. Why not? We're gonna do the aquatic battles today. Also, guys, if you wanna win a free prognathodon, which will get sent from the heavens back to Earth after um, being extinct for uh, millions of years, then make sure you like this video. And if you don't like this video, then well, you're not gonna get one. But anyway. Let's go and see what this Prognathodon looks like at level 30, and um, in this view, you can barely tell, to be honest. I mean, it's hard in this as well. Oh, so he's a bit goldy. He's gold, he's gold, he's gold. It's a bit weird colour, I thought. Well, I, I think. This animation is the best, though. Look at it. Oh, so much effort, so much... Like, oh, crikey, we didn't see that, but so much put into this animation. It is definitely the best one. Oh, did you see the fish, the shark, like, go underneath him, though? You could see it in a little, like, cut second, uh, like a second. I noticed it in my last video. I think people said it like, ages and ages ago. Probably. But anyway, look at him. Um, nom, nom, nom. He's cool, he's cool. He's definitely one of the more interesting looking ones because he's massive and he looks like a wow. But anyway, what do we have? We have a rare pack. We've got our Dino Whoa. <laughs> Dino Whoa. Actually, now, this episode, I'm not going to do this, but I will obviously um, do this because I need to get him. What is it? Stixosaurus. What's good isn't Stixosaurus? Chronosaurus. So let's use Chronosaurus. Um, I'm not too worried. It's two attacks and we'll probably take him out. Probably take him out. So I'm not too fussed actually. Just got to save. He ain't. He will. He can take us out of free. Just like we can take him out of free. So I'm kind of worried. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh. Okay, no, we're fine, we're fine. I thought he was going to attack with all that he had. <laughs> we were going to die. But nope, okay, so yep, three kills him. We've got five, so let's watch Chronosaurus. Crunch. And there you go. And I think this is the first time we've seen level 30 Chronosaurus in a video. And look at him, he's swimming around. It's kind of cool. It's cool. I don't like his green and yellow. I just don't like them colours together, I guess. It's very, um... I don't know, just unappealing to me. I guess, I guess. Anyway. What's next? It's two Mosasaurs, and what's good against Mosasaur Reef? Oh, this is so dumb. Oh, this is so dumb. What would I do? I'd get... Chronosaurus. Megalodon. And then Leptoclidus. That's what I'd do. We're gonna have three just in case, but I don't think we're gonna need our third guy. Just because... Megalodon? It's Megalodon? Yeah, yeah, Megalodon. He's good. He's got high damage. High damage, and high damage is good for these guys. Anyway, Mosasaurus, probably the well best, well-rounded aquatic in the game so far. Which you can't get because it's a tournament one, which is a shame. But I did win him, as you guys know, ages ago. When they had that tournament last year, that seems so far away. It was like October, I think, October, November. It's like three, four months away now. It's I've been doing this for a while. It doesn't feel like a while, but... It doesn't feel as long as it is, but it has been a while, and ooh, this guy took us out. So what are we going to do? We're going to go out for an all-out six. I don't think he's going to have any blocks, and if he does, it's not that big of a deal, because I had that is ridiculous. He's got three blocks, but three will definitely take him out. Crunch, crunch, crunch by Megalodon, and... He is down. And there we go, victory! Oh, I just realised we should use Prognathodon. Why didn't we use Prognathodon? Oh, wait, because... Wait, what is Prognathodon? His surface, right? So, yeah, his surface. It could be surface. Okay, so... Where's our Prognathodon? We might as well have him in our battle, so let's get Styxosaurus for the saves, and then we'll use Prognathodon. I think that's a good idea. And then, uh, Mosasaurus, I guess. Okay, so these, um, battles, they're not as interesting as they used to be, mainly because there's only, like, ten creatures, and they only use the legendaries. <laughs> like, they literally don't even use super ears. It's just 
I mean, I guess it's because I have maxed out pretty much all of them. So it wants to match up to uh, what I've got, but it's just not as interesting as it could be. They should have added commons and rares just to make it a bit more slower to get into. So they give you some commons, you get commons done, and then they give you s rares and then super rares and then legendaries. Or gave gave you like one legendary after f uh, two su two commons, one super rare and all that. I don't know, I just made it a bit more interesting, but it's not bad, it's not bad, it could be worse. And I'm happy with how it is at the moment, it's just a bit uninteresting with these similar battles all the time. But, uh, Styxosaurus is taking him, in, taking him out. But, the guy took us out. <laughs> eight, that's ridiculous, why would he go all out eight? Did he really think we had four blocks? I don't even know how many blocks he would have thought we had. I think we attacked with five, would have had three. Yeah, so why did it need eight? Okay, whatever, anyway, first time in Prog Navadon out, we're gonna do... One, two, yeah, one, two, okay, that's not too bad, and say four. And we're going to see Prognathodon do a two attack, watch him. Whoa, Tower Whip pretty much. I think his animation is the same as uh, Mosasaurus. I think. Probably. They're pretty much the same body shape and like that, I guess. Okay, so what's the plan? This guy's a 40, so we'll want to go as much attack as possible. I think seven should be enough. Yes, yes, come on. We're going to see Prognathodon's all out attack. What's he going to do? Oh, he's bringing it up with his tower. That's cool, that's cool. Whoa, and he tower whips us with the sand and takes out the Mosasaurus. That's cool. I didn't think it was going to be like that, but that is cool. That's cool. I like that. I thought it was going to be the same as uh, Mosasaurus where he drags his mouth, but he didn't. And that's good. Okay, so we attacked with three. He had four. What's he going to do? Four. Three. One block. We've got five. Yes, we should take him out. So there we go. Oh. Oh. How did I not pay attention? Why was I not paying attention? <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to do that battle again, eh, guys? Oh, it looks like we will have to. Oh, poor Mosasaurus. But we did get to see Prognathodon, so that's cool. Um, so, why I'd what I think what I think is best is Leptoclidus. This guy. One, two. And. Just because Megalodon has less um, time on back, you get what I'm on about. I'll get him. So, Styxosaurus. We'll just save, we'll just save. Coronosaurus should be able to take out Styxosaurus and Mosasaurus pretty easily. And, oh, if not, if Leptoclidus doesn't. I mean, his Reef and he has type advantage, so he definitely could, but he's going to have to have a high amount because he's got 2139 health, which is ridiculous. But it's good, it's good. Why are there so many surfaces and nothing else? I mean, they'll, they'll add them eventually, but I just don't like how they do it. I don't like how they do it. They should make it even at least, just for a bit more variety, I'd say. A bit more interesting gameplay, R rather than just having to use all my surface creatures, because that's what I have. Anyway, let's see, Leptoclides is going to have about five attack, I think. I don't know how it's going to go. Nope, that was four, and it wasn't that great. <laughs> it really wasn't. Okay, so he's got seven. What's he going to do? Six. Okay, so one block. So two from Chronosaurus should be taken out, I think. Yep, two. One, two. Okay, that's good. That's good. So one, two, block, save, save. One, two, block, save, save. I think that's the best thing to do right now. We're going to take him out with one hit. Whoa, a towel whip from Chronosaurus and Styxosaurus with his gigantic neck is down. So, Mosasaurus, Mosasaurus, Mosasaurus. Guys, you've been uh, doing these? You've been doing the tournament? How's your tournament going? As you can tell from my. Well, what I just showed you. It's not going super well for me, but it will go better. It has to. It has to, guys. It just has to. Because I'll play more and we'll get it eventually, don't you worry. So, Mosasaurus, first Chronosaurus. He'll be able to take us out with six, so he probably will. Before. Okay. So he's got two blocks. How many attacks will I need with Megalodon? I'll need two. Three, I'd say. So let's do all out six and we should be fine. Yep, there you go. Okay, so we won it this time, and I'm happy. Hope you guys are happy. So we did it, and it's good. And, um, what should we do? I mean, we could do Infinite Battle, but I think it was only a common pack, and we've got a chance of winning a common pack even if we just played normal thing. Oh, what do we want? We want Bucks and DNA. Bucks 250, good, and Spencer is not bad. Definitely something I can use for later on. It's a rare pack. I'm going to do this. Let's go down to our not so great dinosaurs. Uh, who do I want to use? I want to use... 
Paranseucus, Ostrafrica, and Paranseucus. It's gonna be our last battle of the day. You're gonna see a normal land. Um, I, I would say dinosaur, but they're prehistoric creatures because amphibians. Are they amphibians or reptiles, Paranseucuses? Because crocodiles are reptiles. It doesn't make sense, does it, guys? Nope, but anyway, it's Caparosuchus. Uh, we do have kind of a disadvantage. He could switch out for a Lenqua. I think it's a Lenqua? No, no, that's not a Lenqua. It's uh, Zeongopterus. I think. Or Quetzalcoatlus. It's one of them two. It's one of them two I just mentioned. Because they're the two super rares, I think. But anyway. Anyway. He's done two attacks that won't take us out. So we'll do one, two, three, I guess. One, two, three. Let's do four just in case and two saves. And there you go. Caprasuchus. Is down. And here is Parasaurolophus, and sorry about that. I said is down like super late because I was watching the screen, and on the screen it's uh, like five seconds late or something. <laughs> anyway, two attack. Will take us out. Parasaurolophus is down. And here is Ostrafrichiosaurus. Ostrafrichosaurus. Who I think is super cool. We're gonna attack with how many? Do we need two? So we'll do three and three saves. And there you go. Goodbye, Mr. Parasaurolophus. <laughs> And he headbutts the ground. Okay, so here is Quetzalcoatlus. So yeah, the third guy I fought. <laughs> well, third time lucky, eh? What are we gonna do? He's done three attacks that will probably take us out. Yep, yeah, it took us out. Oh, we've got type disadvantage. We've got type disadvantage. He's got four, what's he gonna do? Nothing, because we're gonna be able to take him out of seven. Oh, thank you, Raptor Jesus. Came down, shined on us, and allowed us to win. With a crocodile roll. Uh, quite quetless. For some reason, standing on the ground dies and uh, dies. So, victory! Yes! And we should be back into. What's it called? What's it called? Uh, Predator League. Yep, there you go. Okay, but we're gonna have to do some more battles. I'm gonna end it here, though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Remember, a thumbs up equals a prognathodon from the heavens coming back to us to life. And well, if you want to see more from me, T-Rex, make sure you subscribe for more. And I'll see you again for more Jurassic World The Game.